No? Would you like to call heads or tails? Heads. Heads, so your tails. That's heads, your call. Nicely dealt with kind of read along some self dodges. How important is the start of this match for, for Pavlichenkova when he, if she is feeling fatigue, a staple of these types of tournaments? Away. You talked about the start being important. Oh, it's a ripper of a return. That's just wondrous play. The power with the touch. And the electric comeback from Sabalenka. Second gorgeous backhand up the line in this game. That's well played, nicely controlled. That might be uh, worth a shot for Pavlo Chenkova today. Stuff like that work as well as. That'll work. Yeah. Yeah. Picks is ready for Wimbledon. Jumps on that one. Kick serve to draw the short return. She just needs to get depth and hit her spots. But even when that happens, Sabalenka is so dangerous no matter where she is on the court. Yeah, that is just outstanding, isn't it? And the way she moves around the ball creates lots of space. That's how to hit an inside out shot. Lots of cover on the ball, lots of spin. He just watches it so well. And she does have two set points here. Oh. Only needs the one. Once again, a set of tennis full of brilliant attacking flair for Marina Sabalenka. And she's a set away from what would be a third final of 2021. I mean, it's a very difficult question because so many players have struggled against Sabalenka, but when she's in this mood, variation, but even though Mertens was struggling with injury, that didn't work. There just doesn't seem to be any formula, especially when the Belarusian can strike a ball like that. something else talked about a, a brother teaching her how to volley and that was a lovely volley yeah that perhaps that's the key she's just going to run in on everything I hit a beautiful low volley into the gap more brutal tennis from Sabalenka Said she focused so hard in set two that it had just completely drained her. And she had to come down from uh, four one down. And this is probably the last opponent she would have wanted to face in terms of the physical endurance and effort.
Well, there, just to adjust to the net court. Winning all three points at the net. That was a really good adjustment with her feet after the net cord. Given time on that forehand, you almost just know where it's going before she strikes it. As you say, isn't she? she's just been improving her game year on year. I think also the clay helps her hit. It helps her wind up big on those shots, and of course the altitude allows the ball to fly away. Well, her fitness coach will probably be the most pleased out of everyone. You could see. Her fantastic move. That's, of course, how quickly she's been on and off court, but uh, that's a lot to be said for that if you're in the right position. Early on in tournaments. And she just flashes that one away. Bit of frustration taken out on the ball. There we go. A definite top 30 player, if not top 20, based on this week's performance. Lovely little short backswing. Combination. Love 5 1, love 30, and got back to 5 all. But Sabalenka doesn't want that to happen here. She certainly they took that one on the rise, made no doubt about it. She was not going to miss that shot. Did with it so well with that ball, almost on the half volley. It will be a repeat of the Stuttgart final in Madrid. Sabalenka books another meeting with Ash Barty in 2021. And has once again comes through without dropping a set. Seemingly unstoppable in Madrid. Once again, showcasing her devastating power to reach a third final of the year.